Hi everyone, the topic for the video is operating and financial leverage. But before we get there, let's understand the term leverage first. Leverage means using borrowed amount either to buy or invest and expecting that the returns on these investments made be greater than the cost of borrowed amount. So in short, leverage is used to earn a higher and better returns with a small investment. I'm giving you one small example. Suppose that I have 1000, but the total investment amount required is 6000. Because I require 5000 more, I will borrow for which I need to pay 6% of interest. Now after a year, the invested amount of 6000 grows to 6900 giving me a return of 15%. Clearly, I'm very much in profit even after paying off all the borrowed amount. And because the profits are more than the cost, leverage has generated a positive outcome. But in the same case, if returns were less than the cost, then using leverage would have been riskier. So from this, we also understand that leverage magnifies both gains as well as losses. So this was about leverage and now we'll move to our actual topic operating and financial leverage starting first with the operating leverage. Operating leverage means how efficiently or effectively a company is using its fixed operating cost so that they can generate a better operating profits for themselves. Now operating profit means that earnings before you pay any interest or taxes. Also, let me pause here and first make you understand what is this fixed operating cost. Company's total operating cost consists of both variable and fixed operating cost. Now, in the case of variable operating cost, it changes easily as in when the company sales changes. For an example, sales commission. On the other hand, fixed operating cost, which is related to our operating leverage, it does not change easily with the sales like rent or salary. Coming back to operating leverage again, which means any company using these fixed operating costs to its full potential so that it can generate a very good profit. We will see two situations here that will affect the operating profits of the company. At the same time, we will assume fixed operating cost to be constant in both the situations. So fixed operating cost will not change no matter what the situation is. First one is when the sales increase, its operating profit will also increase. In fact, it will increase more than the percentage increase in sales. But if the sales fall, the operating profit will decrease more than the percentage decrease in sales. So from this, we understand that a small change in sales will have a greater impact on the operating profits. And this impact is measured by degree of operating leverage. Just don't be confused between these two terms operating leverage and degree of operating leverage because the first one tells you how much of the fixed cost uh, is used in comparison to the company's total operating cost whereas the second one measures the sensitivity of the operating profits. Okay then moving on to an example. This is the formula to calculate degree of operating leverage percentage change in EBIT divided by percentage change in sales. Okay, your company sales has increased by 15% and operating profit by 25%. This is clearly an example of rising sales environment wherein operating profits uh, has increased by a greater percentage than the increase in sales. Now let's put these numbers in the formula and degree of operating leverage comes out to be 1.6. So the interpretation of this 1.6 is that for every 1% change in sales, operating profit will change by 1.6%. There is one more way to calculate this degree of operating leverage by using this formula. Okay, so this was all about the operating leverage. Next, we'll see what is financial leverage. This type of leverage tells us that to what extent a company is using fixed financing cost to magnify shareholders earnings. Fixed financing cost means the interest on the debt. Now let me elaborate this entirely. A company's basic capital structure has both debt as well as equity. When the funds are raised through debt, they carry some fixed charge like interest rates which needs to be paid no matter what. And for equity, there is no fixed charge 
but shareholders do receive some profits from the leftover net income. If in case a company uses debt financing for certain projects which turns out to be profitable later, its EBIT increases which will cause its net income to increase even after paying the interest amount. And because of increasing the net income, shareholders earnings can also increase. So this is how the earnings are magnified. Okay, moving on, we just now saw how the net income increased because of the increase in EBIT. The relationship between these two is explained by degree of financial leverage. Degree of financial leverage measures how sensitive a company's net income is due to change in EBIT. It is calculated with the help of this formula, percentage change in earnings per share divided by percentage change in EBIT. Here's an example, company's operating profit increases by 13% and earnings per share it increases by 20%. So degree of financial leverage comes out to be 1.5 which means that for every 1% change in EBIT, EPS will change by 1.5%. Okay, so we have come to an end of this video. I hope you have understood the concept. See you with another topic. Thank you.